right, y'all. Welcome back to another episode of Stock Lock Sunday. It's Big Al with you here. Uh, we've got a Brinks this time around. Uh, Brinks Pro Max Security. Um, we know all that because that's what it says all over the package. It says Pro Max Security down at the bottom here. It's a Brinks. I picked this one up last week when I picked up that, uh, what was it, the uh, Kryptonite? I think we did the Kryptonite keychain last week. Um, this one, they also had at my local Walmart. So I, I kind of like this one. I've got a couple Brinks, and I like this one because it's got that badge on the front. That was it. Um, that's what attracted my eye to it. I don't. The other two I have don't have that cool-looking badge on the front. I just thought it was kind of neat. It's on both sides, actually. Uh, now, this is a super high security. I didn't realize this until a few minutes ago when I picked it up. I have not tried it yet, obviously, because it's still wrapped up. But it says right here, four pins pick resistance. So I hope I don't embarrass myself right now with this thing. Um, but what we're going to do is, let me bring the camera down a little bit here. I don't think we're going to need the vise, so I'm going to move it. And let's see if we can just do a out of package pick on this thing. Fair enough. Uh, so we can get into it first. I think the package is going to be more tough than the lock, to be honest. Let's see here. That might get us in there. Uh, maybe not. Oof. Alrighty. Alright, now we're in. Alright. There's the keys right here. Let's get one off here just for the heck of it. Whoops. All right. Get that off of there. So it does have a boron shackle, it says. Shackle should be pretty tough. Now, it doesn't have the ball locking on this one. So we might be able to... Uh, yeah, I don't know. We might be able to shim that. So let's try, first of all, let's try to SPP it. Now, I don't know if there's enough room for a shim now that, I don't know, now that I, yeah, I don't know about that. But we'll try it. So let's first try to SPP this thing for fun. Move that vise. Bring this up just a tad bit here. And let's see what we can do. I was completely unprepared for this. I wanted it to be a, you know, a straight up pick on this thing. So let me see, a couple tension wrenches over here. It does honestly look a little narrow. All right, so we're gonna go with this one here. All right, bada boom, bada bang. Now it's a whopping four pinner, so I don't think it's gonna take too much, but I'm gonna go ahead and let's try, uh, let's try a sparrow's pick. Let me try, actually I'm going to try one of these. Let's use this dude. This is from the uh, Praxis, the Dangerfield Praxis set. Let's see if that works. I'm not feeling anything up front. Oof. I don't think that pick is fitting real good in there. Feels like I'm dragging. Yeah, I'm dragging the sides with that one. Let's go with the thinner version. The same pick in... Fifteen thousandths. Reset. There we go. At least I can feel the pins now. The pick was uh, dragging the sides. Four and five. 
four, three, two, come on baby, one, one, two, It's got security pins. I can feel them. Spool. Yep. Security pins. Well played. There it is. But yep, it's got security pins. I can tell you that much for sure. All right, so let's see, just for fun, you see it's got that, that flat locking pole there, and it doesn't look like it has the cutaways to keep us from shimming that, but I could be wrong. So let's slide this back shut, and let's see if we can even get a shim in there, first of all. I don't know if one's even going to fit. Well, it fit. It went in there. Must need one on both sides. It's not working too well. <laughs> uh, that one went in good on that side. Nope. I'll be darned. Let's see something here. That didn't work. So it's definitely both sides you got to get it in at. All right. Failed at the shimming. Yeah, it must be bending around it. Okay. But there is not a lot of room for both shims on both sides, or a shim on both sides. So fair enough. All right. So we got our SPP'd. So that's a pick. All right. Let's get to the fun of the weekend. For last week's pack lock, logo lock, the 200A I've been giving away every Sunday. Last week, which was 9819, the winner for last Sunday's pack lock giveaway is MP Services Dave. That, believe it or not, that whole name was on there, so that's what I put. Uh, so I'm guessing, Dave, uh, get a hold of me, this email address right there, ASAP, and I will send you your pack lock. You are the winner, bud. So thank you for your support. Thanks for tuning in and hope you stick around. Uh, all right, so again, the winner, M&P Services, Dave. Get a hold of me, you get the pack lock. All right, that'll wrap up this episode of Stock Lock Sunday. As always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you comment, I will get back to you. Also, uh, this continues. So comment on this video for the giveaway next week. All right, and let me know your US, okay? Thank you.